Hello man of word, we'd truly appreciate that you joined us. We are glad that we can support you in your further development. Today's topic is about how to develop emotional intelligence. So, let's begin. Welcome to amanoford.com, the most refreshing network in the business world. Why should you watch this? 1. You will learn what emotional intelligence is. 2. You will learn the base principles of emotional intelligence. And 3. You will how to use it to achieve success. You probably know individuals who are amazing at dealing with their feelings. They don't blow up in unpleasant circumstances. Rather, they can take a look at an issue and serenely discover an answer. They're great leaders, and they realize when to follow their instinct. Notwithstanding their qualities, nonetheless, they're normally ready to take a gander at themselves sincerely. They take analysis well, and they realize when to utilize it to improve their presentation. First let's see what does emotional intelligence mean. Emotional intelligence is said to incorporate at least three abilities, emotional mindfulness, or the capacity to recognize and name one's feelings, the capacity to tackle those feelings and apply them to jobs like reasoning and critical thinking, and the capacity to oversee feelings, which incorporates both directing one's feelings when fundamental and helping other people to do likewise. Now we'll talk about the four pillars of emotional intelligence. 1. Self-awareness. One of the most compelling journalists who bring emotional intelligence into mainstream society was Daniel Goleman, who said that if your emotional abilities aren't in hand, if you don't have self-awareness, if you're not able to manage your distressing emotions, if you can't have empathy and have effective relationships, then no matter how smart you are, you are not going to get very far. Self-awareness is the significant and non-critical comprehension of our practices, triggers, and profoundly instilled enthusiastic examples. Mindful leaders understand what genuinely excites them, what upsets them, and what keeps them in balance. They see how others impact their feelings, and why. Mindful leaders acknowledge the reality that they make every day since they include the tools inside themselves to understand and deal with their body, brain, feelings, and connections. 2. Empathy. Charles Darwin was captivated by sympathy and empathy in the human experience and thought about these practices as the absolute most profoundly valued credits of our species. Almost 150 years after Darwin, psychology researchers are uncovering that the best business leaders are the ones who show the best care for their workers, staff, and associates. Studies are likewise demonstrating that organizations with empathic leaders thrive in the worldwide market by delivering items and administrations that are both financially, socially, and environmentally important. Empathic leaders have aced the craft of understanding the feelings of others, taking on different viewpoints, reacting to social misery, and meeting individuals in any place they are emotional. 3. Mindful Behavior Great leaders understand how to stimulate their group, extraordinary leaders know when motivation is suitable and when it isn't. Your group will encounter a fantastic range of feelings every day, running from energy to uneasiness to fatigue to unwinding. A leader who comprehends careful practices can inspire their group when inspiration is suitable, yet additionally, react appropriately when it isn't. When was the last time you took the social and enthusiastic temperature of your group? You may feel the need, and have the character and drive, to continually push, build, make, and move. If a few colleagues are not like you, the general collaboration will be less efficient. It is critical to truly become acquainted with every colleague, see how to connect with them in a manner that boosts comfort, care, and validness. 4. Emotion Regulation If you choose to pick just one of the abilities from this rundown and work on it, let this be the one. Emotion regulation is the capacity to effectively deal with your feelings and the feelings of others to make an individual and social atmosphere that is helpful for everybody's needs and prosperity. Do you know any individual who is reactive or has practiced proper ways to deal with their passionate reactions? All of us can think of an individual who is in this case, and they're not the ones you'd like to work to reach your goals. Leaders who ace the skill of emotion regulation will be adaptable, versatile, and tolerating of wave after rush of enthusiastic changes that occur for the day. Lastly, we'll see nine tips to develop your emotional intelligence. One, use a trusting style of communicating. Trusting communication goes far toward gaining respect without appearing to be excessively forceful or excessively aloof. Emotionally intelligent individuals realize how to present their conclusions and requirements immediately while also showing respect. Two, answer calmly to conflicts. During occurrences of conflicts, emotional outbreaks and sentiments of outrage are normal. The sincerely insightful individual realizes how to remain quiet during upsetting circumstances. They don't settle on rash choices that can prompt much more concerning issues. They understand that in the middle of conflict there is a goal involved, and they align their thinking and sayings to be able to get closer to that resolution. 3. Use active listening abilities. 
In discussions, emotionally intelligent individuals tune in for lucidity rather than simply trusting that their turn will talk. They ensure they comprehend what is being said before reacting. They likewise focus on the nonverbal subtleties of a discussion. This forestalls false impressions, permits the audience to react appropriately, and shows regard for the individual they are addressing. 4. Be motivated. Emotionally intelligent individuals are self-inspired and their mentality stimulates others. They set objectives and are strong notwithstanding challenges. 5. Practice ways to keep up an uplifting attitude. Try not to underestimate the power of your mood. An antagonistic attitude effectively contaminates others if an individual permits it to. Emotionally intelligent individuals are aware of the temperaments of people around them and guard their behavior as needs are. They realize what they have to do to have a decent day and a hopeful standpoint. This could mean having an incredible breakfast or lunch or keeping positive statements at their work area or PC. 6. Practice mindfulness. Emotionally intelligent individuals are mindful and intuitive. They know about their feelings and how they can influence people around them. They additionally get on others' feelings and nonverbal communication and utilize that to improve their relational abilities. 7. Understand the critique. A significant part of developing your emotional intelligence is to be able to understand the critiques. Rather than getting insulted or protective, high EQ individuals take a couple of seconds to understand the critique. They also pay attention to other people's emotions and body signs and use what they find out to improve their communication with those individuals. 8. Empathize with other people. The emotionally intelligent ones understand how to relate to others. They comprehend that sympathy is an attribute that shows enthusiastic quality, not a shortcoming. Compassion encourages them to identify with others on a fundamental human level. It opens the door for shared respect and comprehension between individuals that have different opinions and beliefs. 9. Use initiative aptitudes. Emotionally intelligent individuals have amazing leading abilities. They have high requirements for themselves and set an example for others to follow. They step up and have an incredible dynamic and critical thinking skills. This allows for a higher and more productive level of performance in life and at work. Before the video ends let's find out which are the best things to remember from this. 1. Emotional intelligence will help you in career and personal life. 2. The best leaders practice emotional intelligence. And 3. The most important skill is to know how to control your feelings. Well, this ends here, let us know in the comments what is your opinion about the emotional intelligence. Thank you for watching until the end and if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for every new learning opportunity. And always remember man of word, be aware of the person that you can become.